Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. So uh, before I go, so before I start, I just want to talk about one thing briefly, which is why I don't go to war with the Timurids. Because the Timurids are tech military tech level 9, I'm at military tech level 12. Uh, I have, um, so I have a 3 tech level advantage, which is huge. And I also have, um, you know, actually at the moment I have more troops than they do by 2 to 1 margin. The reason I don't go to war with the Timurids is because the Timurids are allied with the Ottomans and Kazan. Um, and the Ottomans and Kazan combined to have, uh, you know, another 120,000 men effectively, plus the Timurids 30,000 is 150,000 men um, that I can't really afford to fight at the moment. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically why I don't go to war with them. Um... Yeah, these get oh so Ottomans are currently involved in a war, so which means that odds are they won't come in on the war against us. Although they still have all that men, so let's let's just be a little patient and look for an opportune moment to strike. I think would be the best thing to do. I do have rebels. Wow, that is really good. I think. Yeah, ivory is awesome. God, that is fantastic uh, trade good to get in this uh, land here. Oh, I have reduced my revolt risk in both these provinces to zero, effectively. So let's come down here and crush these rebels. And then once we do that, I can lower my maintenance, which will stop me from losing all this money. Oh, Maywar uh, just raised their troops. Oh, they didn't raise... God, I just played CK2, so I'm so used to when I see troops, I'm like, oh, they raised troops. Um, no, they didn't raise troops. Uh, oh, we lost our claim on Surat. That's too bad. All right, so we've crushed the rebels. Fantastic. Um, we'll let our troops replenish. Uh, wow. That was really bad timing for me. Hopefully we win this fight, because that was really crappy timing to have a rebel rebellion right then. Just because I, I crossed into them right when it happened, so I got the river crossing penalty when it happened. And this guy's not a good leader. So we're going to let our troops replenish. We need three months for them to replenish. It's going to cost us a pretty, pretty ass penny. But it's okay. We'll get it done and then we will... Uh, then we'll be fine, I think. How close are you to being done? So two more months. Good. Come on. Still two more months. God damn it, game. Alright. Those last eight dudes will get there, and then I am going to um, collapse my army maintenance to zero. Beautiful. Now I'm making bank, which is exactly what I want to do at the moment. I'd love to go to war with Chagatai, but their alliance with Kazan is going to prevent that. Kazan is no longer at war with anybody. Timurids are no longer at war with anybody. The Ottomans are losing their war. Interesting. Are they losing their men is the better question. The answer is uh, kind of, but not really. Timurids are already rebuilding. So I think my best bet is to go to war with Vijayanagar. Um, my truce has expired with them. Sweet. So really, just what I want to do is finish this. Uh, finish these these colonies. So you have six percent chance each month of getting new settlers. So that's really good. We're already at three fifty seven. I like how it accelerates when it. Uh, um. It accelerates when you get closer to actually accomplishing it. That's one of the things I really like about uh, the co colony mechanics. Is that the colonies slowly accelerate over time. I'm going to have to get this uh, this thing. So let's do it. Needed to do it anyways at some point. So we'll be able to get an administrative monarchy. 
What would that give me? Increased production efficiency, increased tax modifier in exchange for uh, these two, which I don't want anyway, so... Yeah, I'd much rather have the increase these two, the administrative monarchy. Um... Wow. For once, I think I'm actually going to trade the stability. I know that's kind of a strange decision. People are probably screaming, holy crap, you traded stability? That's so dumb, but... For once, I actually think it's an okay decision. Do I have claims on any of your lands? For curiosity, I do. I have claims on two things. Telinaga and Bastar. Telangana and Bastar, these two provinces. Bastar sucks, but Telangana is actually pretty good. Um, I'd like to take Carnatic and Telangana. Do I have a uh, mission for any of these? Colonize Pose, claim our rivals province, Kanara. I'm not going to go after Hindustan. I don't think there's going to be much of a purpose for it by the time I get it anyways, so... Is this, um... Pala, whatever it was saying? That's the Andaman... Andamanas. What is... Where is this place it wants me to colonize? Bone? God damn it. Demark, Bonten, Sunda. Ooh, Sunda is a great place to colonize. Sumbana, Flores, Timor, Buru, Bone, Pose. This is where it wants me to colonize. Ooh, Pose is really good to colonize. I can see why it wants me to do it. And we'll probably do that in the future. For sure. Gaining a buttload of money now. Uh, apparently uh, Vijayanagar is in a coalition against me. Uh, I got, got lots of money now. I really like having the monies. And my colonies are doing pretty good. This one's up to 10% chance of getting a set new settler every month. And now we're getting to the point where it's going to uh, snowball positively for us. And I will get the uh, Force Limit modifier because it will give me, what, another Settler? Oh, permanent CB against Pagans. Whatever. I'm going to get it because it's going to get me closer to this Morale of Armies bonus. Uh, and it will also allow me to get a Policy. Where are Policies? Or do I just get it by default? Did I just get that by default? Policies. Do, 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 ba, do, boom. Where the where do I see my policies? Forget how to do this. So I just do I just get them by default? I guess I just get them by default. I thought there was a button I could go look at them. All right. So he gains two diplo points. I wonder if this is random. But uh. Gives access to the following policies. So I should have access to a policy somewhere, but I don't see where the policies are. I'm so confused. I thought there was a thing right here which showed, like, allowed me to click policies. Oh, there it is. Add policy. It will cost one diplomatic power each month. Oh, interesting. All right, so that's why. They, so now I know how policies work. Cool. All right, well I'm gonna raise my uh, money, my maintenance back to full again, um, and get ready to go to war with everyone's favorite best friend, um, Vijaynagar. I've been improving relations with these guys. They don't want to become my ally. Very close though. Oh my god. Goodbye, Bailiff. Goodbye. Goodbye, Prestige. It was nice knowing you. Let's get these armies into position. I wish I knew where the uh, Vijayanagari 
main forces kind of has to be by uh, process of elimination has to be somewhere over here I have found 9,000 Vijayanagaris get my forces into position for the strike Get my uh, my boats away, so they don't get destroyed instantly. All right, um, and I think it's time. Declare war. Take Telangana. Beautiful. Move in quickly for the strike, so we can see if we can find their troops. Oh, I found uh, the bulk of their army. 23rd, 23rd, it's gonna be close. You, you're the crappy leader, no leader. Um, go to my leaders, military. Um, right, we're gonna get rid of this guy, because he sucks, and then we're gonna pray that we get a good, uh, good general here. Three, two, one, luck. All right, two, two, two is better than nothing. Yeah, my 2-2-2 two, two, two is better than their 2-2-0. Two, two, Come on, get in there. Why can't we catch this stupid army? Oh, did we crush that army? I think we did. They're coming with more men, but it's not going to get here in time. Nope, that army's not going to get here in time. They're on the run. We're going to see if we can catch the running army. I don't know where that army's going. Are they coming into me? They are. I'm guessing that's where the running army's going. Yeah, and the running army's gonna go right through me. That's what I thought. That was really good for me. This war is gonna be easily won. Oh, I'm paused. Sorry. Let's go down to speed three, by the way. I, I like to fight wars a little bit slower. Um, now the question is, can we win this battle nice and quickly? We did. That pretty much is the end of the war for um, Vijayanagar. Now I'm just going to pick up, pick off the uh, these, these forces that are recruiting troops everywhere while I get my... Uh, my, for my personal forces in places that I would like them to be at. Um, I'm going to start uh, detaching sieges. Gold. Holy crap. Did you just say gold is going to be produced here? Holy crap, guys. <laughs> this is the greatest moment I have ever had suddenly happen upon me right here. Oh my god, I am so happy right now. Oh my god. Gold is the best trade resource in the game. And I just got one. I hope you guys can hear the ludicrous excitement in my voice. Oh my god, that was fantastic. Thank you, game. Ivory and gold. Both just really good. Uh, resources to get. Meanwhile, the carpet sieging is real. Oh, no. I have a Regency Council. That sucks. How is my Regency Council look, at least? 340, which... Wow, I thought my son... My... my how did, wait, I thought I had a better heir. I'm looking at the wrong country. My Regency Council is a 2-2-1 and my heir is a 4-2-3. Okay. 2-2-1 two, two, sucks. Uh, I'm actually going... Ooh, and this guy died. Uh, let's get the land maintenance modifier. That will help me save a little bit of money. Um, and then I'm actually going to set my focus here. And then I'm going to buy this guy to get the plus one there 
I need to do something here. I'm actually going to get uh, the national tax modifier, dude. Because that will help me gain a little bit of money as well. Alright, you should get there in time. Yep. What? Oh, I have a blockade, of course. Of course there's a blockade. Timurids, what are you doing? You're not going to war right now. Okay, good. Meanwhile, the carpet sieges are real. Not the greatest of engagements, but we'll win it. We'll definitely win it, and then we'll see where they run away to. Meanwhile, I'm going to see if I can crush these little armies that they keep popping up. Ah, uh, one revolt risk in Dhaka, that sucks. Oh, they're actually assembling a force down here, which is a little bit terrifying. So I'm actually going to, uh... I want to move my army back towards the rest of my forces. In case they, they strike. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm trying to isolate these armies. Where are you going now? Okay, cool. And we've won one of the sieges already. Fantastic. Go up to Baidar. Oh, we're fighting a battle here. Come on, get there in time. Beautiful. Hey, where are you going? Oh yeah, you're going up to, to there. I'm um, not happy with um, these armies. This army here that's actually surprisingly getting big. That's a little bit annoying that this army is actually getting kind of strong. These guys are at military tech 10. These guys are at military tech 11. So I still have a military tech advantage. Okay. I keep hearing these awesome noises. Oh, I can actually go to military tech 13. Beautiful. Um, so that's going to put us even stronger. Um, I'm not actually going to do this right now because I believe it... Uh, I believe it, it gives me a morale hit. Oh, I got this available for a while. Did I not choose upgraded infantry? Did I not choose upgraded infantry? No, keep the unit. God damn it. This is what I want to see. I have South Indian infantry, isn't that correct? Yes, so it's only the cannons that need to get upgraded to small cast iron or large cast iron. I think I want large cast iron because they have more offensive shock or offensive fire, which is what cannons do. Cannons fire at things. If it moves, tax it. Um, where is this? Malwa? Um, let's do if it moves, tax it. How are my colonies doing? God, both of these are gonna be great colonies. Gold. What luck there. Oh, took Vijaynagar. Fantastic, won that siege. God, they got to 14,000 men pretty surprisingly quickly. I have that river crossing penalty, which sucks, but I'm gonna show up with an extra 10,000 men. Beautiful. Um, I'm chase him down with this army. This army is going to detach a siege and then go here. The less places they can um, get sieges from, the, the better off. Beautiful. I want you to continue the chasing as well. They're almost certainly going up to East Berarar or West Berarar. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get this done. We're gonna get her done. Looks like they went to East Berarar, which is what I had predicted. 
Meanwhile, I'm gonna show up with uh, 19,000 men. Take care of that. Knowledge is power, or at least prestige. I'm not gaining the revolt risk, so bye bye prestige. I'm gaining a bunch of prestige from uh, sieges, so I'm okay with it. The siege of Vidar is over. Oh, did you not go into the battle? Oops. That's okay, you can go to West Bear RRR. You can just chill. And I'm gonna have these guys come to, I think they're probably gonna go to Kongu. Ah, it's so nice winning all these sieges. Where are they going? Looks like they're going to Vinad. Going to Vinad? You going to Vinad? They went to Vinad. I'm actually gonna just let them sit there for now. Oh, and that they ended their siege there. Oh, one of my, my explorer died. That's too bad. But we'll just leave it as it is. Oh, and I need to end the episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. We'll end this uh, war on the next episode. Probably take a bunch of stuff from uh, Vijayanagar. I mean, definitely take a bunch of stuff from Vijayanagar. There's no doubt about that. Um, and then, uh, I mean, I'm so happy about the t these two things right here. But uh, with that being said, I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all next time.